uh, here I am again with a video for multiplication chapter that is chapter 5. Earlier we have learned what is multiplication and how to multiply in, both in addition factor and multiplication factor. Now today we will see properties of multiplication. There are some properties of multiplication which we see while doing multiplication. Let's see the first property. First property is order property of multiplication. By the name itself you can figure it out. Order means the sequence in which we place the factor. That means two numbers that is called factors we can place in any of the sequence but the product will remain the same. Let's take an example here. Here I am having two parachutes into I am doing three parachutes. 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 3 is 6. I Now what I will do? I will interchange the places of their factors here. Uh, let's interchange it. I will make 3 into 2 that is also equal to 6. One more example here. In this picture we can see there are 3 circles in a row and there are 2 rows. So total number of circle is 3 into 2 that is equals to 6. And now in this picture when I tilt this picture, uh, turn this picture around in the second picture we can see there are two circles in a row and then there are three rows. So total number of circle is 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Therefore 3 into 2 is equal to 2 into 3 that is equal to 6. So Two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The product remain the same. This is known as property of multiplication. If we change the sequence of the number, still the product will remain the same. Still we will get the same answer. Now let's see another property. Another property is zero property of multiplication. Let's take an example. If I am having five groups of boxes with me, that is five boxes with me and in that boxes I am having zero balls each. In I am having five boxes, that is I am having five groups but I don't have anything inside it. I don't have any ball inside it. So, how many balls do we have? So, 5 into 0 is equal to 0. That means I don't have anything and if I multiply with that 0 there, so obviously I will not have anything. So, anything multiplied by 0 that would be equal to 0. So, here 5 into 0 is equal to 0. Now, 4 was I am having and zero flowers in it. So how many flowers do I have? I will be having zero flowers. Why? Because I am having the group but I don't have the flowers in it. So I will be having zero flowers. So any number multiplied by zero will give us zero. This is the zero property of multiplication. Let us do this exercise 5.4. Fill in the following. A1. If 4 into 5 is equal to 20, what will be 5 into 4 is equal to? See here, you can see we 4 into 5, it was given 20. And here what it is, they have just changed the order. Now 5 is in front and 4 they have taken written it 
later. So here 4 into 5 was 20. So what would be 5 into 4? Yes, 5 into 4 would be 20. Here we are following the order property of multiplication. Here just the order is changed but the product remains the same. Now let's take D1. What is given here? It is given 9 into 4 is equals to dash into 9. So is equals to dash. So what we will write here? Here 9 into 4 is equal to dash into 9. So what will come here? 4 will come here. 4 into 9. We will just replace the numbers here. And 9 into 4 is equals to 36. 9 into 4 is 36 or 4 into 9 is also 36. Now let's see E1 6 into 8 is equal to 8 into we have to just change the order. 8 into 6 will come. Now what is 8 into 6? 8 6 is 48. So we will write 48 here. Now H1 0 into 8 is 0 because we, when we multiply anything to 0 we will get the answer 0 through what 0 property of multiplication and here also J1 7 into dash is equals to 0 so 7 into 0 is equal to 0 now let's move on to the another exercise till now we have done horizontal multiplication now we will be doing vertical multiplication now what is more vertical means straight exercise 5.6 multiply using the tables see can you see here the numbers are placed vertically can you see here the numbers are placed vertically earlier we were doing horizontally so 2 5s are 2 5s are is 10 2 second one b1 7 4s are 7 4s are 28 3 4s are 3 4s are 12 6 3s are 6 3s are is 18 and 4 2s are 4 2s are 8 so like this we will write. Now exercise 5.7 real life application. The first example let us see what is given here. In a garden there are four rows of plants. Each row has two plants. How many plants are there? So in a garden here you can see there are four rows of plants here. One, two, three, four. And in each row, how many plants are there? Two rows, two plants each. In each row, two plants are there. So in total, how many plants we have? By repeated addition, when we see there are two plus two plus two plus two. So there are total 8 plants and by multiplication there are 4 into 2 that is equal to again 8 plants. Now in the next one there are 3 rows of flowers. Each row has 4 flowers. How many flowers are there? Now first by repeat, repeated addition let us see what is given there. There are three rows. Okay. And in three rows how many flowers are there? There are four flowers. So let us add it. Four plus four plus four. So three times 
3 times we will add 4 that is 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is equals to 12. Now let us multiply this. How will multiply? 4 into 3 that is equals to 12. I hope now all of you know the order property of multiplication and zero property of multiplication. And remember that tables are very important so that you can do your exercises very quickly. So thank you for seeing today's video.